It's, 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 like, a, it's like a creative player. It's what happens like, when yeah. what happens when we don't have all the data we need? It's just so good. Oh, but can you take my name out of it? <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> we have an error. Now we have Our post request did go through. Our post request did was received by the server, and the server sent a response. We were able to console log that response. It contained a JSON object and it has a key of error and it, it's pretty nice. It has a message and we're gonna wanna use that later as a status of, I guess, validation error is 422. <clears throat> or is it unprocessable entity? Anyway. We're gonna write a function in our articles api.js and it's gonna be called add article. Oops. So what do you think should go in here, Christian? Right. So we need to make a get request from the... Make a get request? I don't know. The our fetch. So we'll need to we'll need to use some library, the fetch library, to make an HTTP request. Um, and it's going to look a lot like what we had here, right? So fetch that URL, right? Fetch that URL. Well, what are 3,000? Uh, oh, I have it. I have it up up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what you have up here. Perfect. <laughs> so if it changes, it changes. Do I need it to interpolate it, Bobby? Oh, you're eating. Um, do, <laughs> do I need to interpolate it, Kyle? Uh, you put it in a string. It is a string. Do we do we need anything besides the URL? I, I don't know what you're doing right now. Uh, so I'm trying to make a post request. Can you just copy that over under this? Oh sure. Yeah. That makes sense. So that doesn't work because you took out the first thing. Yes. Just for reference. So we need this URL, and I already have it up here. Mm -hmm. And what I was looking for was a second parameter. So we, that's called the options object. And with the op options object, you can make requests that aren't the default value of get. So if I want a method of post, then I can do that. And would an add an article still be a post, right? Because they're posting to the server or to the add, add article, yes. We want to make a, well, eventually we'll have a link, and it will, when you click on it, it'll show you a form. You'll fill it out, and then you click a button, and it'll call this function, add article, and make this request to add it to our database. So then you do uh, the fetch. Would be putting basically what you have there um, in your fetch response right there. That's the code that you would be wanting to send to our server. The response? On line 42 to 49. That's what you're 42. wanting to send to your server. This? No. This is the response that the server is giving to us. What we sent to the server was a request. And when you use fetch, it defaults to get. But if we give it an options object, we can change the method to post and give it other things. Like with a get, you don't need a body. What kind of body do you need if all you want is to get data? With what, a get. Are you posting to the body? 
Right. The, the reason I want to post, the reason I have a body is because I'm posting something. Right. I'm giving yeah, the comment. server data. The function was add comment, right? The add comment? The, the add, add article, article, yeah. So when I call this function, I want to make this fetch request, just like I did in the browser. Yep. So I'm going to, but this, this, this here was just to console log the output for us. This would do the same thing, but it would just return some promise or something weird that you can't really see. But it would still post that data to the database. So you're not gonna put the body part? Oh yeah, I need the body part because that's where the data is. So body. So my why didn't I say what? I actually, I don't know. I don't know what. So if you wanted to confirm that the article was sent correctly, would you use Would I use some kind of a stop button? To confirm? Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. When, <laughs> when I call this function, if I return this fetch, then the fetch, what does the fetch return? Um, not a JSON, not an HTTP request. A promise, thank you. It's a promise. That's why you have to use it then. You have to either use then or async to deal with the promise. Otherwise you'll just get a promise object that's useless. But we can just return this fetch, and then this function becomes something that returns a promise. So whenever you call that function, you can call it, and then do something with that promise, with a dot then, or an async, or an await. You don't need a then. You can we can have a then. We can have a then, but we don't need it. We can add it where we use it. What, because if we... What do we want to return from this, is the question. It, we could, but I, I'm planning on doing that in, in the component itself, when I call the function. Okay. If you want to do something like display, like a success message, that's where you would do it. A success message? Ah, yes, that's why we want to return, because we had that return there, with all these dot thens, <clears throat> and we want to parse through that somewhere. It could be here, but do we want, what if it is a success, if it's not, how do we choose what to return? Just as it's- If you get all the information and you wanted it to say, okay, I added that to the <laughs> All that information will be returned in the promise that fetch gives back. It'll be returned, and then we can we can just put this code in front of it, and then we'll get the the JSON. We could. Do you want to? I guess hmm. it's up to you. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick to this now. So now that we have this add article, I'm missing something here. Nate, what am I missing? I'm missing here in line 34 between parentheses. Nothing? Trick question? <laughs> oh, article address. Yay! So when I call it, I need to give it something. I need to give it the article that I want to create. And why is this dim? Because you're not exporting it. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, there, there are some tests you can run at this point. Um, they should pass. Um, there should be one that doesn't. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this is your file. Say again? Oh, on your actual uh, oh. Save that out, so it should pass now all your oh. Does it run when I refresh? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Did it? Oh, this isn't a friendly error, though. Oh, you're. Oh, I'm still. Oh, pretty mad. I'm just gonna. Oh, that wasn't even the test. <laughs> So, oh, well, okay, they all pass. So I need an add article page that will display my form. It's going to have Save time instead of watching me type because I know it's so exciting <laughs> to watch me type. Uh, we have a, a handle form submit that on submit will submit this form. You need for the on submit HTTP, uh, not HTTP, HTML uh, attribute, you need a form tag all your inputs will be submitted on submit when you click a button and you need a input type submit that will show up as a button. And whatever the, the value is, is what it'll say. Submit my form or what, it'll just make the button bigger. This is how you access the elements the value inside of these inputs. So whatever I type in here, let me just go to this. Oh, I haven't had a route yet, so I can't go to it. Mm, do I, I'll just, Does that look good to everybody? Okay, does that solve our problem? Add article. So we have this here. On submit, I don't think it'll do anything. Let's make it console log. So I'm just going to console log the whole object. So we got this. Um, we got this object here. Does anybody have any questions about how this works? We had this. Does it even work since I already <laughs> called the function? I called the function add article from articles API in my handle form submit. I think I, think I lost people by copy and pasting, didn't I? Oh, did you, did we, since we called that function uh -huh. on our API, did we actually add a article? Can you hit submit? 
is if the function ran properly, you made the post request to the database and on our tools. Hmm. Well, when you click submit, it just it didn't redirect anymore. It, it didn't redirect anymore. It just did nothing. No, it did nothing. And okay. and as a developer, you want to always have feedback to the user. Yeah. But it, it was doing this. <coughs> Can I just take a second to read the code that you have for this? Sorry. It's a very reading Oh, no. <laughs> That's not what I I didn't check. Oh. I should have just copied and pasted it another page and then edited it for you guys. I was just typing this and I was like, oh. <laughs> Does it make sense? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna add a link in the nav bar. <clears throat> a link, and I'm gonna put it here. And it's gonna be a link. I already imported it, so that's nice. Um, so I need to give it a class name of nav item because it's actually inside the nav at this point. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I have to do it inside the tag, the link tag, and now it auto completes for me. And what else does a link need? Bobby, what else does a link need? To where you want the uh, URL to go or be. Okay. Go. That's what I did. Uh oh. Does it need a key or no? Does it need a key? Oh, no, I think it needs a value, though, or something inside here. The key is for what we're mapping. The key? Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, the key is, is for an array, and that's just React. For some reason, it, it can't keep track of the things in an array, and it'll confuse them and that'll all break everything. So you need a key. It's not just a formality. So we're, we're basically almost done with new site five. All we have next is a login page. So we're gonna go through the, we just added a, a page in article, so it should be fresh in our minds what we need to do. Bobby, can you walk me through a uh, how to, what what I need to do to make a login page? I'm gonna need to go through a few files or a couple of files. Mm -hmm. I just made an add article page. Uh, just a login page. I'm gonna call it login page. Um, the URL will be login slash login. Uh, no. Okay, so I added, these are my pages right here. Uh-huh. Create a new file. Okay. And let's import some stuff. Uh, go to home page. Yeah. Um, 
We want the render and the return. <laughs> that. Um, Yes, but first, um, before we make the component, I want to see it. Let's say I have a. So you want to create like a template first? I want to see this on the screen in my browser. What do I need to do? I want to go here. You want to add the route. Add the route where? Uh, <laughs> let's go to our app. Yeah, where it says route. And all those tags, just make a one that says uh, login. It's a little repetitive. There's a login page right here. Okay. So now you can go to that page and then it will render whatever to the login Hopefully, it's not. Oh, yeah, add it to import it. Huh. There you go. Right. Yay. Do you want to continue? You're doing a good job navigating. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to speak up with that. <laughs> So, so a login page, we just made a form in the other page. Can, do, you, do you remember what it looks like? Uh, the bracket, side bracket, whatever you call it, yeah, form. So or give. when I'm making a form, I just make a form. I give it some lines in between. I give it some inputs. Yeah. Okay, so I always use a button tag, but I guess you can use it. The input tag and put like submit as the value and whatever. And submit then, must be the yes, the, the an input tag at the bottom. So it'll have a, I'm just going to copy it. It's going to have a type and a value of submit. It doesn't have to have a value of submit, but it has to have a type of submit. This value will just would be whatever the user sees on the button. A button? Um, uh, you might you. Uh, we can try. You like? I feel like you would, you submit. You not know, as an input when you want to like. Um, you want to probably add some message when you like submit it because can't you like get the value of the input? You get the value. From the on submit, you can get on change. You can on change a form, and every time they type, you get it. But why? Like so, we have the submit button. It's depending on what you want to do. What do I want to put here? With that, if you use the button, it'd be the same thing as on button click. So, on button click. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the the nice thing about this submit uh, when it's inside a form, at least as an input, is it'll submit the whole form. Okay. Instead of just one input, let's say. I want this button. And then I feel like on submit, yeah, you'll put your function. That's like the post request. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, I'll just say handle submit. Yeah. Okay, uh, Holly, mm -hmm. what do I do next in this handle submit? I have a form here. Um, I want to 
I think I think my form isn't done because when I go, it it looks pretty crappy. Oh, oh, that button definitely did some refresh the page, but it definitely doesn't have a value any that we can't see this submit. If we had an input here, I can see it. This button. <laughs> so, so you can you can style this however you want. So it'll look like whatever you want. But when you click on it, it will submit the form. Uh, we need some text inputs here. So, do you type button where you have submit on type the change, but type button. On line 15, type this button. Yeah. Yay, <laughs> it's a button. <laughs> I don't know if that, that did anything though. Did it? Okay, so, so we have an input here. We'll have an input type email and type password. And um, those will also be the names. Yeah. Um, is that how? You can just That's put like placeholder. Yeah, you can put placeholder ah. in the box. Mm. Yeah, that I, I want some some line breaks. Ooh, that's not a capital. What is that? There's a break. And there's a break. Hmm. Okay, so let's submit. Nothing happened because nothing happened in our submit. So just really quickly here. Does anybody know why we need event prevent default? So default So I submit this button. I submit this form. The default for submit button is to do a request or something like that. If you look at the URL, you might you might see what it's doing. It's oh, it updates the URL. Yes, it redirects us to a URL with some parameters in it, the parameters of the form, and it passes in the parameters. So that's the automatic function of a a default form submit. And if you actually had information in those fields when you hit submit and you didn't have prevent default what if ah. you put those up in the url <laughs> hopefully um. ah so i said type equals email and because of that it's fancy and it knows it needs to add I put some exclamation marks after yes. And this must be an at sign. But the basic um, syntax of this is just question mark, key equals value. 
<coughs> and key equals value, and key equals value. And if you have that in the URL, you'll be able to access those parameters through this here. And we'll have the props.match.params. Params is what we're looking for. Those are params. The and this equals that. <laughs> the last thing we'll do before I let you loose is we will console log just to make sure we have what we have. Console.log the things in the form. What do I put here? <laughs> Is it, it's not value because it's a form. Uh, element. Oh, unexpected use of event. Oh, what am I missing? I wish it was automatic. I guess you have to define what you want to call it. OK. It didn't console log. Why is that? Why didn't it console log? Karen, why didn't it cost a log? Well, if it's the way you access it in the LMI, it's a variety. Um, I don't think you're not using our. I'm not using oh. I, 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 I don't think that's what it is. Would console log just event to Um, sure, sure. Value. I'm kind of torturing you guys right now. Yeah. <laughs> it did? It's not in the return. It is. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's right. That's trying to get to the council. Okay, you guys have suffered enough. It's because this is here. Juan saw that I did console log it for a brief second in the console. We were lucky to see it. Or he was lucky to see it. Most of us didn't. It console logged it here. And then it refreshed the page. So you need to be careful about this. You need it. <laughs> Not all the time, but when you need it, you need it. But that's it. Um, work on your site five. Does anyone have any questions? New site five. So why does prevent default prevent the console log? Does prevent default prevent the console log? No, but the default action for a form on submit involves a redirect with params. And because it went to this URL, it reloaded the whole page. It went to a whole new URL. Right, but what's the prevent default? Did you get the console? So when I have something in here, in my console, if I go to a different URL, where I refresh the page, it's gone. It's just gone. Because. Submit the form is what you're asking. Can we just see it with the, can we see the console log? Yeah, we never see uh, it. Did we ever see the console log? Like, like, we just keep saying it works for like. One, one side. <laughs> For a, a lot of times it's just like, you do stuff that doesn't actually work. Gosh, I, I keep doing that. I'll like do it and then I'll know it works and I didn't show you. Yeah, but. That's not the first time I did it today. Anyway. A lot of times when you know something works, 
it doesn't actually work. So that's true. Yeah, it's, and it's that's bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's kind of simple. Simple and you also need, that's why you need tests too. You can't, you can't do every little thing yourself all the time. <laughs> How secure is that? How secure? <laughs> oh, is console logging your name and password? No. <laughs> you just get it out there on the link. Do it every time. Because um, every time you put in your password, you can actually see the values of the password. Mm, you're so right. It's so is that secure at all? Like when I go to Facebook and log in and use my password, is it accessible to anybody who can actually see it? Um, yeah, that's 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 pretty insecure. But that's all you'll be doing today. You won't be actually okay, logging so there's in. There's more to it. Hmm? Okay. Right. When it comes to computer, people don't see that. Yeah, yeah, did, because did you, the security of the password, there's more to it. People's entire jobs are for security. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a tutorial. Oh, well, they, well, this is all I can so, <laughs> I, 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 I was watching a tutorial and they always use a state change on their phone submissions. Okay. So that they can like have little prompts that come up reactively. Like, you don't have enough characters. One second. Uh, one last note. Uh, I just typed in, the, is this in the URL at question? And you can see that it console logged here, but it's not in the URL because we have prevented the default. Oh, so we can give it all that stuff after This just remained here because we never we never changed redirected or anything. Okay, uh, let's start. With